is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers, and we have been uh, talking about um, planning your posts, things you can do to use your posts up quickly, maybe you get an idea and you just want to put it down really quick and then you can come back later and finish it up. You could just, in log in the dashboard, instead of going over and opening new, you could just go quick press, put title, add words, add your tags, and just save it as a draft or publish it. So I would just pick an idea in there and just save it as a draft. Um, and that works for me. If you want to go ahead and post them in there and quick press, that's up to you. That's an option. Now here's a um, post that I'm working on right now. And this is a cool plugin that I'm going to show you in a minute. It helps us with planning uh, these posts and things that we have. Um, anyway, you can see right here, um, there's a little button here. And if you just click on that, it's how much cleaner everything is. It's much, much cleaner. And then you can put in your information. And... Um, you can kind of, it's like if you can mouse over it, you can see where it is. Because you can even the lines and everything else is gone. You've got some empty space. And it's just easier for you to write and concentrate with all the clutter gone. And you want to use that. Now, let's say that you want to go ahead and you, and you possibly, there's some things that you can use. Let me shrink down this page here a little bit so you can see. Okay, here I got it shrunk down so you can see it all. Uh, you got right up here, you can see full screen. Uh, you got the visual tab, the HTML tab. So if you want to click back to the HTML, back and forth you can. Um, on the HTML, I have a place to insert it in, you can add a link, and that's about all it has there. And here you have a few uh, a few little tabs here. This is the most often used one. Um, if you want to go back and add something to full screen, you can switch over to full screen. And then you can just go back over here, switch back and forth. So this is really cool. It's in this quiet space to uh, go ahead and write your post in. And then you can switch it on back when you're, when you're through. Anyway, um, let me see if I can show you one more thing here. Mm -hmm. Next thing I want to show you is the WordPress editorial calendar. And if you go further down the page, you can click on it and go to a post that I made about that. But you can see it's right here. Um, just as you go, it's right into your post area over there, there on the side. I'll post that calendar at the end. And what it is, is you can move these posts around and you can schedule them when you want them to be where you can see this. And if you want to plan ahead, this is a great way. We have a lot of things smashed in here right now. It's not usually going to be this cluttered. We're going to, once these tutorials are in here, it's going to maybe be a couple of posts a week just some updates and some information. And one or two of these, we won't be near so busy, but I can go ahead and schedule them in advance. And I can be working on other things, and you know, the post will go on and then I can come back in and I'll see more. And so this is going to really help me once we get it up and going. It helps me so I can see, okay, I've got all these things still I want to get uh, written up right now, and uh, it lets me know where we're at. Anyway, have fun with these. Uh, go ahead and get your, you know, this, this new work ahead. And if the ideas come up to you, just go ahead and write them down. To me, the easiest is just to put them in the WordPress site itself. It saves them there. If you prefer putting a notebook or something, whatever works for you. Anyway, uh, I just want to WordPress 101 for Boomers.